tennis is really a dual threat. In addition to it being a social sport, it's also a very effective training tool for tennis as it allows more players to get into the sport, helps retain them better, and helps them progress faster and then translate those skills 100% back to tennis. Hey, I'm Nate Gross, and about five years ago I discovered pickleball courts for the first time. I remembered back to my experience as a kid playing a little bit of paddle tennis in Venice Beach, and I wondered if I could play the same thing on these courts. So I went out there with my dad and I tried it, but unfortunately the ball was a bit too lively for the court size. But from my experience as a tennis teaching pro, I was familiar with the different balls out there, but I wondered if I modified the ball, would it make the playing experience more enjoyable? And it worked. I settled on the orange dot low compression tennis ball as the best ball for my needs. But then I got to thinking, well this is really fun, there has to be other people out there who would also think this is fun. What if I create a new sport on the pickleball court? And from that day forward, the idea of spec tennis was born. Now initially it was created as a social sport, but as time went on, I realized it could be so much more than that. Because regular tennis is so hard, it has high barriers to entry, it takes players a really long time to have success. And so that leads to a lot of dropout and slow improvement because players aren't able to rally. But in spec tennis, those barriers of entry are removed. It becomes a lot easier for players to rally and control the ball and go out and have fun with their family and friends. So I began experimenting in my tennis lessons using spec tennis as the first progression to every skill that we were learning. So for example, if I was teaching a player a topspin forehand, I would have them use the spec tennis paddle in the orange dot ball as the first step in the progression. And then once they hit certain checkpoints, I would move them back further from the net and then eventually move them to a tennis racket. And the results were amazing. The players picked up the skill a lot faster, in my opinion, than they would have had we just used the tennis racket the whole time. And so I believe this tool can actually help develop tennis players a lot faster than the traditional tennis only method. Spec tennis has a much smaller learning curve than tennis because the sweet spot of the paddle is closer to the hand and you're also dealing with a lower bouncing ball that's not ending up out of the player's strike zone as often. And so now spec tennis has become a part of my daily tennis teaching. So if I get a player that's never played tennis before, I start them off with spec tennis. If I get a player that's more advanced and they've played before, but I'm teaching them a new skill or a new tactic, I'll also have them do that with spec tennis and then replicate that on the tennis court. Now I ended up playing Division I college tennis, so I had a decent tennis career, but I often ask myself, if I had played spec tennis growing up as part of my development, how much better could I have been? There are many people out there who don't even give tennis a try because they see how difficult it looks and how much money they're going to have to spend to get to a decent level. Spec tennis provides a bridge for anyone who's looking to get into tennis because it removes those barriers. The fact that spec tennis is played on a pickleball court makes it very accessible and it can also be played on any hard surface including in the driveway, parking lot, basketball court, tennis court, even on clay courts. This is powerful because not only does it allow people to play anywhere, but it also gives them the tools to be able to practice at home. Now initially when I started the sport, we were using platform tennis paddles, which weigh around 12 and a half ounces and have a sharp glass gritty texture. The consensus that I got from players though was that the paddles were a bit too heavy and also it was easy to nick your finger, cut yourself on that glass surface. So I started working with a supplier to develop a specific paddle for spec tennis and one of the things I wanted to do was take the weight out of it and remove that gritty surface. And what I ended up with was the S1 Lite by Spade Sports, which is the first ever approved paddle for spec tennis. It's 10.4 ounces and it has a textured paint instead of that glass gritty surface so there's no danger in cutting your finger there. Some benefits of playing spec tennis if you're a beginning player is that you're going to be able to rally a lot sooner than you would in tennis. A lot of players quit tennis before they can even rally. They just hit the ball back and forth one or two times and then somebody misses. But in spec tennis, you're actually going to be able to rally pretty quickly because you have a lot of control and the court is a lot smaller. You'll get the full experience of actually being able to play the sport rather than just hit the ball. Tennis is tough because unlike other organized sports, you sign up to play, but then you just practice for a long time before you're ever able to play a real match. Think of like soccer or basketball where you sign up to play, you practice during the week, and then you have your first game. Tennis is not that way, but spec tennis allows you to do that. You could be out there in a week playing a spec tennis match against somebody even if you just started playing. One of the main benefits for junior players and junior programs is that players can develop control very quickly with spec tennis. A lot of players in tennis skip control, they end up with an oversized racket with a lot of power and back at the baseline, 
and then they're very limited as to how much they can improve and how much enjoyment they can have in the sport. Because of this control aspect, I was able to successfully run very large junior clinics by myself with up to 14 players for 12 weeks. And the reason for this was because I was able to have players doing rally-based activities because they had that control. It wasn't me just standing there feeding balls out of a basket to the kids, but instead it was more peer-based, cooperative and competitive competition. In addition to successfully being able to increase the player to coach ratio, you can also fit four times more players per tennis court. Four spec tennis courts can be set up on one tennis court, and so that really maximizes the potential of the number of players you can serve. Now, even if you're an advanced player, spec tennis can still have benefit for you. For example, if you train your patterns and tactics in spec tennis, this really increases precision and tactical awareness because you have to figure out how to win the point in that smaller space. And if you're a club looking to add spec tennis, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer. It's a very low-cost amenity that requires no facility modifications. It's great for social events and mixing levels. And it can really fuel your tennis program, as you can get more players into the tennis program through the route of spec tennis and retain them longer because they're having a lot more success every step of the way. So that's my spec tennis story. And remember, you're just one rally away.